I'm Len Zeiser, Chairman of Asthma Technology. This is my, I think, seventh company in Naples, Florida. Azimuth Technology actually was founded five years ago, and the firearms industry became interesting not only because it was such a large industry, but we noticed that there was a lot of inefficiencies in the other companies and the, and the other competitors that we have today. We make a lot of the small firearms uh, uh, products, everything from barrels, match grade barrels for uh, products like Glock, uh, H&K, Smith & Wesson. Every project I've been involved with, and as we do now, we've we, we chosen the best machines and the best ways to, to implement and build up fast to do a project. And the way we've utilized what we'll call simple machines, vertical machining centers and turning centers, it, it has lended itself to making product the way we make it very high tolerance, very very accurate, always to print, and it's worked out well. We have jobs out there that we're holding within a thousandths on, on multiple dimensions on the same part, and I've been uh, surprised at first, but you know, we can depend on it now. Today we have over 60 vertical machining centers in different forms, and we can buy two and a half machine tools or sometimes three machine tools to a single horizontal machining center. And that gives us three times the spindles running. The other thing is it's a lot easier to change a vertical machining center versus a horizontal. Many times we're in and out of projects within hours where we're changing from one, uh, one project such as bolt carrier groups to slides we'll have to change within a half a day. That is a difficult process if you are uh, machining on a horizontal. When we started Azimuth in 2012, we needed equipment and we needed it fast. And uh, we went to the usual suspects out there and they were talking about delivery machines six to 12 months out. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to get our project off the ground. We called Haas and they told us within two weeks we could have our first six VF2 SSYs. Those machines hit two weeks later from California. They're on our, uh, in our factory. Within one week, every one of those machines were producing parts. No one else in this industry really can give you that kind of super rapid delivery and production. Many of our employees uh, had never been a machinist and never uh, have been in a factory. We do live in Southwest Florida, which is not exactly the mecca of, uh, of manufacturing. Uh, but we brought them in and we trained them uh, under almost a, a quasi-apprenticeship program. What I can say about the Haases is they're just so user-friendly, you know. We get people that come in with little to no experience and you put them in front of a Haas mill for a week and they get it, you know, the way that Haas is laid it out. Plus all the little bells and whistles that the Haas comes with, you know, a little area to change your tool, a spot to put your tool holders, areas to put your prints on the machine, the little things that, that Haas thought of that make the machine more user friendly. Each new Haas packet of machines have been upgraded with things that we've talked about or thought about. And this is a testament to Haas and probably Gene Haas listening to the customers. Pretty much all the Haas mills, we, we have a, uh, a spec, I guess you would call it. When we order a new one, we, we get them loaded out. You know, they have high pressure coolant. They come with the Renishaw Whips package, which is tool setting and probing. Uh, they come with the 40 tool carousel, which is a new option. High speed machining, the look ahead, and you know the guys always get it right. It comes in with the options. If, if there's ever an issue, they're quick to fix it. Haas Florida not only provided us deliveries, but provided us great pricing. They, uh, what's amazing about Haas is if we have an issue with a Haas, within not 24 hours, but within 12 hours, they are here at the factory fixing our machine. Mr. Morris, going back from uh, early on, convincing us that we had to try Sagami, uh, was the main driver. Uh, we wouldn't own anything else uh, today, in the, especially in the Swiss machines. 
for us, the big benefit of using Swiss turning as opposed to conventional turning has just been the, the floor print of the machines. Obviously, you guys have been on the tour, you've seen we square footage is a premium here, so we can fit a machine in that can do both side A, side B, they can do turning, they can do milling, and they can run unattended. They run non-stop. They don't need to you know, babysit, not too high maintenance. They just run. I mean, and, uh, we have a machine right now that has been running for two months, no stop, 24 hours a day. When we first started the company, we were running aluminum bronze bushings. Now we're running cam pins, firing pins, uh, ejectors, extractors. Anything that comes across, we'll run on them, as long as it fits within that 20 millimeter window. Everything's been done on the Sagami machines. We did try a couple other machines at, at one point in time, but we weren't happy with them. We weren't satisfied with the quality of the parts we were getting. So we resorted back to Sagamis at that point in time, and since then we've added three more to bring our total up to five Sagami Swiss machines. And we've got two BO125s, two SS20s, and one BO206. Uh, and our parts run you know, anything from 500-piece lots all the way up to 50,000-piece lots. So one of the parts that we run a lot of on our Sagami is the uh, clock firing pin. The fact that we can do it all in one setup, one machine, one operator, uh, and do it when nobody's here makes it a very, very good project. So I have a blank I don't, you know, for this firing pin. It doesn't have any design, it's just a blank. So I just get that model and then I start, I'll start adding uh, ideas in there. And, I, and then that, that's how I start you know, making my own designs. So in all of our companies that my dad and I have put together, and my dad talked about this being his seventh company, we have used outside debt. Uh, typically machine tool uh, finance companies. Uh, MFR specifically has been extremely helpful. Uh, they, uh, we don't have to worry about going to the banks and utilizing our lines of credits or our master lines. Uh, MFR does supply you know, the five-year capital lease, which we typically do. Uh, we're big believers that debt is the cheapest form of equity. Uh, why would you use your own cash or, or the bank's cash uh, if, you, if you had the opportunity to finance through a machine tool finance company like MFR? Uh, they've been very good to us, uh, uh, very easy to work with, one page simple application, simple couple page uh, uh, documentation, and, uh, and we're off and going. I'm not a, a, a weapon specialist, I'm not a firearm specialist, either as my father. We are just interested in making things better and making things more efficient and, uh, and, and being competitive.